Money is not everything in life, but money answereth all things. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 19 says, A feast is made for laughter, and wine maketh merry, but money answereth all things. When there is money, you can do anything. But when there is no money, your English are useless. Yes, sir. Hey! Englishman says, money controls varieties. We cannot live without it. The Lord's work cannot continue without it. Money is used for evangelism. The gospel of our Lord Jesus will make a far greater impact. God has given to me is for the body of Christ. Mm. I am supporting your television station with one millionaire. Yeah! Qui soutient sa chaîne chrétienne avec un million de dollars. La Bible dit que lorsque un homme a sauvé, la Bible rejoice. La Bible dit que lorsque un homme a sauvé, il y a de la réjouissance dans le ciel. Mais mes enfants peuvent toucher. Seulement moi, je peux gagner ce soir. Nous avons besoin de mettre les mains devant les tendres. La Bible ne dit pas que nous devons être riches est un péché. Mais nous devons être riches. 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 According to Genesis 13, 2, Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Even Job, in Job 1 verse 3, is said to be the greatest of all men in the East. As servants in the vineyard of God, we point the way, we don't send the needy away. We give the vulnerable a place to stay, we shine the lights as sons of the day. Many are sick and depressed because they cannot take care of the things they ought to because of lack of money. Money is not sinful, but the love of money is sinful. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 says, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. Money is a defense. Yes, Papa. Alors l'argent c'est une défense. And also we call it a financial freedom. Money is needed to maintain, support, and defend yourself. It would have been a great shame if Jesus was unable to pay his taxes, as seen in Matthew 17, 27. When the tax collectors came, and Jesus instructed his disciples to go to the river and take the money from the mouth of the fish. The love of money is the root of all evil, but a lack of money is the father of all tragedy. You see a lot of people being delivered from the spirit of poverty, frustration, and confusion. Your clothes are too old. Uh, I, want to, I, want to, I want to change this wardrobe. Yeah! So, uh, I'm going to bring 300,000 to change this wardrobe. Hey! with joy, gladness, and overwhelmed as they receive instant financial deliverance and breakthrough from Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuin. You! Come down, come down. What do you want me to do for you? I will give you five million naira. Jesus! Oh, all of you that are here, I'm also giving you 50, 50 thousand. One million. Come here. I am buying Jasmine set with five hundred thousand naira. Where is your church? In Cameroon. I'm buying you 500,000 in our sets. Jesus! 
I'm giving my baby 200,000. Oh, oh, Jasmine? Huh? I don't even get instrument. I don't manage. You don't manage, eh? Yes, daddy. Okay, 500,000. Oh. Hey, my father. Prophet Omo Togo. Prophet Omo Togo. I am following your car. Each of you, 500, 500. One million, guy. Yeah. Hey. 500 each. One million for two of you. I am giving you people 500,000 to go and marry. Generators, everything for me. Jesus! 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 Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotufefei understands how frustrating it can be and has availed himself to deliver the people spiritually and financially. We, uh, everybody needs deliverance. So. We are here to support you. We are here to support you. Two million Jesus, somebody celebrate Christ in the house. I don't know before alone. Il est prostitué par le passé, être initié même par certains membres de famille. Aujourd'hui, le Seigneur l'a localisé après avoir reçu sa délivrance par les prières de l'homme de Dieu, prophète Jérémie, au monde de et l'homme de Dieu l'a béni avec une somme de 2 millions 500 000, y compris les partenaires de Merci TV. Mm -hmm. de ces jeunes femmes à l'écran de cette somme et dit qu'elle yeah we have decoration of a uh, decoration four points <laughs> now alors elle dit qu'elle n'a jamais vu de telles sommes parce qu'elle travaillait juste pour donner l'argent à sa soeur en se prostituant oh, là, bon, par bon. le passé <laughs> Regardez votre écran. Ces jeunes femmes basées en France qui ont travaillé pendant plus de 4 ans. Sa soeur qui l'a initié, sa grande soeur, de père et de mère. Alors, elle qui a failli mourir en se prostitution pendant plus de 4 ans en France. Et telle qu'elle a relaté, elle utilisait pratiquement plus de 100 condoms par jour. Et ceci l'avait affecté énormément. Et elle a dit qu'en venant au Nigeria voir l'homme de Dieu est programmé même se tuer. Elle avait un couteau avec elle et c'est son frère qui a pris ce couteau. Aujourd'hui cette femme est totalement transformée. L'homme de Dieu qu'elle ne retourne pas. Et l'homme de Dieu a dit qu'elle ne retourne pas son ancienne vie. La voyant se réjouir de cette somme d'argent. Une somme de 
4 millions 500 000 euros. Mais l'homme de Dieu a dit qu'il ne veut pas se suicider. Que This le is the money. Tu veux l'aider? No bank. No accounts. Cash. Here we bless. The Lord said, bless people. This is a 500,000. Without hey. this one, stand up, stand up, stand up. Now, so it be. I've been telling you people this is this, is you, the this cash. Hey, well, it's for your marriage. You don't put on my. One million. One million. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Your time is coming. Amen. We have the word of God deliverance. We have the hand of God deliverance. And we have money deliverance. Matthew 11 verse 28 says, Come all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You can only find that rest from your troubles in Jesus. Acquiring wealth from violence and evil sources does not pay. The money you need is in Christ Jesus. Anybody that going to a native doctor, you are watching your case. Please, Jesus is the answer. Are you sick or depressed? Money can change that. Are you hungry or confused? Money can change that. For God is going to send you financial aid as money answereth all things. Remember, money, money answereth all, all things. things. Good day, viewers, and welcome to the program Money Deliverance. Now, this is a program that is going to be showcasing stories of people who came to Christ's message and deliverance ministries and got delivered spiritually and financially. My name is Sophia Lloyd, and on today's edition, we are going to be speaking to a couple who came to Christ's message and deliverance ministries and encountered the God of senior prophet Jeremiah Omotufe that changed their stories for good. So on set with me today is Mr. and Mrs. A.B. Samson. You're both welcome to the program. Thank you. Okay, so Brother A.B. Samson, tell us how you encountered the God of Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotufufeng. Um, by the special grace of God, uh, is indeed a great miracle that day on the 23rd of September. God gifted me through my father, senior prophet Jeremiah. It's indeed a great day. It's a day that is the happiest day of my life. It's a day that I, will, I can never forget because it's like a dream come true. That day on the 23rd of September, I was in the church. And before I knew, Papa called me out and said, Hey, come out. And if I know, he said, We yeah, are going marry. I said, This is the problem that I've been facing for a long time now. Over two years, I've been in a relationship with my wife. Over two years, I've been trying, trying, trying. I tried all my possible best to make sure that I get married to her. And, but all to no avail, it was not working. I was praying that God should send and help her to deliver me from this financial problem. problem. So it's been a long time I've been praying, I've been praying. I said, God, one day, locate my case. Use, him, use my father, senior prophet Jeremiah, to deliver me from this financial problem because I've been with her in a relationship more than two years. More than two years. I've been trying my possible best. I've met people, I've do do things to make sure that it works. I've saved some money, but ought to know have it, everything was not working. Spiritually and physically I was I was failed up to an extent that I said, God, is it is this thing going to work? But I keep on believing that the God of my father will visit my case one day. Mm. Hallelujah. Okay, so um, 
that was your major challenge in yes. the relationship. Yes. Okay, so now while Papa spoke to you that day, you told us that um, a call came from your mother-in-law yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. A call came and that call destabilized you. Tell us now, after receiving that call, what, what did you plan to do next? Okay, that day, it was on Saturday, yeah, I came back to my house and I called her and she told me that my mom, my mom called her and my mom told her that if this relationship, if this couple is not going to work, if this marriage is not going to work, it's better you come back home and leave that man for good. I said, ah, oh, is that what she told you? I said, yes, ah, I, I, I felt so bad. I felt so bad. I felt so helpless. I, I was just like, God, how, why, why, why is this thing happening to me? How am I going, who is going to deliver me from this, uh, 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 from this financial uh, problem? So I keep on, that day I, I felt up, I prayed. I said, God, the prophet Jeremiah, use your servant to surprise me, to make sure that, to, to use your servant to surprise me and prove to the family of my wife that there is a God I'm serving in Mercy City. So at that night, I couldn't sleep. I was, before you know, I started crying. I said, God, do it for me. But I, I made up my mind. I said, God, if my case will not be settled this year, maybe I will just fed up and let, let me just say, let's out go because we've been two years in this relationship. Mm. Hallelujah. Yesterday, a mom called her. He said, you've been with that guy for two years now and he has not come to see us. If, you, if he's not ready, this is courtship and come back. That's what a mom called her. It's a relationship. Yes. So you, how, how do you feel yesterday? I, I can't sleep. You couldn't sleep. I, I, said, I said, if I'm walking in mercy land, hey. I have a go. Hey. Yes, yes. Hey. 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 before I go. Well, you know God works in mysterious ways. So tell us what happened on Sunday. Because now that happened on Saturday night. And you both prayed in your respective houses that night. And then on Sunday, something remarkable happened. Tell us how you felt. It was like... Should I say there was a sharp response from God? Instantly, he answered. Tell us how it felt for you to know that God answered your prayers fast. That day we saw you running around, you were overwhelmed. Tell us what was happening to you. Wow. That day is really a day of miracle in my life. It's a day that I can never forget. You know, this war we call a woman, woman, fresh and raw. Is a God that answered by seconds. It changed somebody's stories any time, any moment. And that day, that my day breaked, I was like, ah, could this be a dream? Because the Bible says when the Lord called the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. dream. But I never believed it until I met the God of my father that day. So when it, when it happened, I was like, God, is this thing happening to me? Is this real? So I, I was so excited. I was so happy. That's why you were running around. I, if not because of the people who were holding me, I was, I was ready to even tear off my clothes and run out. Because it's indeed a miracle. Mm. It's like a dream come true. You know, when it takes, do you know what it takes for somebody to call you on Saturday night that you, you should leave that, your husband, and come? back home. That, that means the relationship has really gone off. But God of my father, the sharpest prophet, the prophetic sharpshooter, mm. the tireless general, the, the man with the shitter's grace, mm. the man with over oversized grace, mm -hmm. visit your case and change your story by seconds. You know, it is indeed a miracle. And it's, it's, I've never seen such in my life. I've never seen, even in my family, it has never happened before. Mm. Things like this has never happened before. So it's, it's indeed a great day for me. And every day of my life, I keep on remembering that day. Mm -hmm. I keep on remembering that day because it's, it's indeed a great day. It's indeed a great day for me. Wow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay, so tell us now. When the man of God came to the choir stand and said, um, those of you, don't worry, I'm your father. If you want to get married, tell the person, bring the person to me, I will take care of things. And then you told him that he has seen yours. And then he said, 
call her. Now, when you called her out, tell us what was running through your mind at that point in time. What did you feel wanted to happen? Because it was something of a surprise. Nobody yeah. expected it. Nobody, nobody. So tell us what went through your mind at that point in time when he told you, call her. Okay, when Papa came to the crime stand and he said, um, I want to sponsor your marriage, just tell me whenever. And I said, oh, Daddy, I'm here. She's here with me. I want to marry her, but there's, I'm having a financial problem. He said, okay, then call her. Quiet, I'm not going to go marry her. Quiet. I'm not going to go look for us, but come and tell me. No, be so. Uh-uh. I'm not going to go or look for us, but daddy, uh, I want to marry. Huh? Don't see my own. When are we going to pay? Have you, you have seen your own? Yes. She's here. Call her, call her, call her. Lucy, Lucy. Lucy. I, th that moment, I said, ah, what's going to happen? Oh, so you didn't have anything in mind? No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I, I felt maybe by that time you, you must have told yourself, okay, Papa wants to pray for me so that financial blessings will come. Do you understand? Yes, that was what I was having in mind. Okay, that's what I you thought. I was not expecting that financial breakthrough that day. I was not expecting that money. Maybe you would come up to me and tell me, okay, okay, where is she? Call her out and maybe just pray for us and say, oh, yeah, go. Don't worry. Before now, so, so that, that was what I was like. I was just expecting deliverance. Mm -hmm. But I never knew that it was financial deliverance. deliverance. And money, that money Papa gave to me opens my life. Mm. And I was like, I said, hey, so this one, I was even scared. And I was even scared. I said, God, how are you going to do that? How is it going to happen before I know back all those out? The blessings comes in. And I was like, I was shocked. I was amazed. I mm. said, this is indeed a God of solution. Yes. This is indeed the arena of solution. I said, people come here and testify. I said, this is my day. Mm -hmm. And God did it for me that day. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So tell us now, you were so overwhelmed to be blessed in such a manner. Because now... It was not only the man of God, senior prophet Jeremiah Motufei, the partners and also members of the church came and they supported you. How did it feel seeing all those people coming to support you? Yeah, I felt so very happy my, my, for, allowing, for God to use my father, senior prophet Jeremiah, to bless me. Mm -hmm. I, I felt so happy. I said, who am I to be blessed in such manner? Understand? For a senior prophet, well known all over the world, to bless you, to bring you out, to bless you, is not easy. It's the finger of God. Mm. This is the finger of God mm -hmm. in it. And supernatural, supernatural encounter that people have been saying, this is my own supernatural encounter I received that day. Mm. So that day, after Papa blessed me, people keep on blessing. People said, I'll buy this. People said, I'll buy the senior partners. People begin. People, big men, people begin to come out and and, and, and pledge for, for begin to render their services for mm -hmm. me. I was very happy. And it, let me tell you, that day it was a live service. Mm. So all over the world, people were watching. So some people, after that day, even in that day, my phone kept ringing. Send me your account number, this, that, that, that. I was still receiving these blessings. Mm. I was still receiving these blessings. It did not end in the church. It did not just end in the church. Mm -hmm. The blessings keep going. Because what is a father. And when your father bless you, you receive the blessings totally. So it's indeed a miraculous blessings that God has blessed us. Hallelujah. So that day, the man of God stated that your wedding will be conducted the next Sunday, which was 30th of September. Yeah. Now... Considering all that had happened with the family and all that, did you think it was possible? Obviously, uh, if I said it was possible, I'm lying. And my wife keep on telling me, this thing is not possible. Me too, I said, no, there's no way this thing will work. So I started looking for a way to see Papa. So I said, ah, I'm looking for a way to see Papa so that I will tell him that Daddy, this thing is not going to work on because we need to go and comfort the family, do other things, buy this, buy that, to make sure that things are in order, so it can't be possible. So when I went to him, opportunately I saw Papa that day, the next day, on Monday, I saw Papa. So that day when I saw him, he said, hey, my son, he said, go. 
go go and prepare the things. This Sunday, I must do your wedding. You must wear this Sunday. I said, okay, sir. Because you can't argue with a father. Mm -hmm. He's a spiritual father. He's, he knows what he's saying. Mm -hmm. What he sees, you don't see it. Because he's a prophet. Yes. So I said, okay. I called my wife. He said, how is it going to be possible? I said, hey, a father has given an instruction. Yes. We need to obey the instruction. All we need now is to key into it and make sure that it comes to pass. And that very Tuesday, we, I called her mom. I said, okay, mommy, I'm coming to pay my, uh, your, your daughter. She said, ah, hmm. Okay, no problem, oh, I'm waiting. So we get, we went to Aquaibon State, she's from Aquaibon, she's from Aquaibon, we went to Aquaibon State the next day, which is on Tuesday. So when we when we get there, when we get there, we keep on talking to the family, but it was not easy. Mm -hmm. But because the prophet have spoken the word, yes, that it was on Sunday, far. that means spiritually and physically it is settled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I, I, I was not expecting it to be that Sunday. Mm. I've seen a lot of people that they plan marriage for five years, some six years, some three months, some four months. Mm. It's not still working. But my own is six, just six days. Mm. It's indeed a miracle. It's an uncommon miracle. This is pressure and I was not expecting it, but I never knew that the God of my father works in a miraculous way. It works in the supernatural, yes. beyond human yes. imagination yes. and human expectation. Mm -hmm. Now, when you went to her village, because her mom had already called before, earlier, that if it is not going to work out, leave. Now, when you called her and then you finally showed up, getting to the village, what was her mother's reaction? Oh, that day we went to the village. We went to get to the village and she saw me our reaction. I was afraid that maybe the, the attacks and mm. all that, that you didn't come, is now you're coming yeah. and all that. But I don't know that the, the grace of my father went ahead. Went ahead before <laughs> me. The angels are already there before me. Mm -hmm. So when she saw me, and when the family members, when they saw me, they were happy. They embraced me. They started calling me in law. I said, hey, <laughs> God of my father is He's working. A, a miraculous God. Mm. I said, and I called my wife. So your mom started calling me in law. I said the miracle has started. I said that is it. So she was she was happy when she saw me. She embraced me and she, she stood up. She called the family, the rest people, to make sure that we are in town so that they will take up the, all the process. So she was very happy and the family were happy to see me. How did you feel when that day came? First of all, it was a Sunday life service. You were getting married on that day. It's the first of its kind. It has never happened before for someone to get married on a Sunday live service. So tell us how you felt, first of all, being that that day came and it was not like you were dreaming. You woke up, you got up from the bed, you put on your suit, you put on your wedding gown and you guys drove to the church. Tell us now, this is, it, I'm sure it dawned on you then that yes, this is truly coming to pass it is a reality tell us how it felt for you to have been the first person to receive such an unexplainable blessing a blessing that sounded like a lie yes. tell us how it felt for you that day that day is i was to say it's like a dream comes true in that sunday life service people were there and were getting dressed to come to the altar to be blessed by a senior prophet mm. as one. Mm -hmm. So I, I was very happy. I said, is this real? Even when I was dancing, I was telling my wife, baby, is this real? <laughs> is this is this real? I was like, is it happening here? So is is the first in Mercy City. Yes. Is the first. And for a senior prophet to attend your wedding, mm. to even to even wed you to, to Two people together, mm. it is indeed a miracle. Yes. It's a rem remarkable blessing mm. of God in my life that day. I was very happy. I was so excited. The crowd, the, the viewers, and all that. And I was I was I was so so happy because I was I was like I'm, maybe I'm still dreaming because this is not happening. But God did it. Mm. God did it for me that day. Because you know, like what you said. He said some blessing will sound like, like a, lie. a lie. Yes. So when I keep telling, I call my friends, some of my friends, I keep telling them, okay, I've done my marriage. You say how? When I send them the videos and all that, or I say you go to Mercy TV, 
and watch, and they watch, they saw the blessings of God. They said, yes, there is God in there this place. There is God, there is place. God. Yeah. Mrs. Sebi Samson, tell us about how you felt that day. The day had finally come to pass. How was it like for you? It was like as if I was dreaming. Even when I was dressed, I was like, is this happening? Am I the one that's about to wait today? I said, God, you're so awesome for making this day so come true. This is what I've been expecting all this while. God, you are so much. Even my family, my father's house, my mother's side, nobody has ever done traditional marriage, not to talk of wedding before. Mm -hmm. I'm the first in my family, so I was so happy. I said, God of Jeremiah, Thank you very much for bringing me to worry, to mercy city, mm. to bless my life. I was so, so happy. It's the day that I will never forget in my life. God has really blessed my life. He has put a smile on my face. I am blessed indeed. <laughs> uh, even me, even me, I'm the first person in my family to, to, to get married. I'm the first person. I have elder brothers. We are five in number in my family. I have elder brother. I'm the last born of my family. But I'm the first person who got married. Mm. And they were like, how did this happen? I said, the God of my father. Grace made a difference. Happen. Grace made, made a difference. difference. So I'm so happy. They were so happy. My mom, my dad, everybody was so happy. That this, is this happening? Understand? So it's, it's really a miracle. Well, and it's a remarkable blessing. So we should remember <laughs> in every day of our life. You people have set records. Yeah. Now you are the first to get married in yes. your family, yeah. and, and you also are the first to get married, to get married yes. in your family. And then the both of you are the first to get married on a Sunday life service. Yes. So it has been records upon records upon records. Wow! Indeed, God is a very mysterious and wonderful God. Tell us how are people reacting to this major blessing? Because I'm sure that there must have been times when people made you feel bad. You know, now seeing you being a chorister, and then you were facing this kind of financial problem before, yeah. there must have been people who would have laughed at a you, lot, made lot, fun of you. But what is their reaction now, being that you have been blessed in such a way? What is their reaction to you now? Oh, by the grace of God, I'm so happy. Because even those people, who laughed at me. They were the people who came and celebrated with me mm. and told me congratulations. I will tell you this, there's no problem. Any problem you are facing in life, keep on believing because one day God will locate you. Those people that are laughing at you, they will be your mockers, they will be the one to, to come and celebrate with you. So I mean, when I come to church sometimes, when I walk, they will laugh at me, you, you, hey, come on here, there's nothing you are doing and all that, I said. I said, God, one day, make me proud. I keep telling them, I said, don't worry. This, this dream, this my dream, one day, this my, this my problem will be over. Because I know the God I serve, and I know the God of my father. He will take this away from me, and one day, I will be blessed here. They say, how is it going to happen? This, that, that, that. They keep on saying all manner of things. People, even my friends over there, you, what are you still doing? You are not, there's nothing, there's no progress you are making, nothing, nothing. I said, don't worry. I said, one day, my story will change. And when my story changed, they are the one calling me Alpha before. They are, now they are calling me Mr. Mm -hmm. AB. There, was a, there is a respect now. Yes. Because there is, there is a lifting mm -hmm. of, of hands. I get me. There is, a, there is a level. The level has changed mm -hmm. to another dimension in the supernatural. So it is indeed a miracle. So before they talk to me, some people thought I'd talk in and all that. But now you will talk to me with respect because what the blessings of God has already taken place in my life. So now everybody said, those people that were hating me, there, the people saying, oh God, I would love to, to, to be blessed mm -hmm. the way you are blessed through my father, Sino Prophet Jeremiah. They keep on telling me, how am I going to do it? I want to be blessed like you. People that were laughing at me, they said, I want to be blessed like you. I said, I give all glory to the God of my father, Sino Prophet Jeremiah, for his great words in my life. Okay, so now before your advice to viewers, was there any time you felt discouraged? Now, because you, we see you moving with the man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Mutufi. Yeah. So everybody was would have been asking themselves, why is why is he facing 
such a problem when he's moving with the man of God. Do you understand me? Yeah. So now, where, was there any time you felt discouraged with what people were saying regarding your situation yeah. then? Well, um, if you said discouraged, I felt many of them like that. So, but it gets to a time. It gets to a time. When, when, they t when they say all these things, I get to my house and keep on thinking. Keep on thinking. Sometimes I cry. Say, God. But I keep on believing that one day my story will change. There was a lot of discouragement, even from friends, even from the place you, even from the place you are working, even from your department. People keep on discouraging you. But there is a word my father, senior prophet Jeremiah, told me. And it is a word you keep on saying. He said, if you are walking with me, he said, if you are following a great man of God, he said, don't give up. Continue. You understand? Put in your best. Do, do what you can do for God. Don't worship man, but worship the God that I carry. And you will. One day, one day, you will receive the blessings. So I was so happy. I was so happy for God to change my story like that. But there's a lot of discouragement. People from families, from friends, from the working place, and all that. Because sometimes when you see other people being like that, living the world and all that, and you're not like that, you say, what is, what's happening to me? But all glory to God Almighty. Yes. Yes, well, you know, we always hear your voice shouting, my father. <laughs> so all those shouts were not in vain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I knew that even even my father do tell me so he said when you're working in the house of god work with all your heart understand it's not about eye service it's working with your heart it's because you are working for god and it's we call it house of god because there is a blessing attached to it there will be a day eh, that god will change your life when i get home people will say how oh, you will just be you will shout you will be gingering you will be singing and all that dancing and all that you, don't you get tired oh don't you get this stuff? I said, no. I know. I said, because I love the way my father is doing. I love the work. I love to be like my father. So I need to follow the full steps to receive the blessings fully. Now, what is your advice to viewers watching? Now, especially workers in the vineyard of Christ. So many are discouraged. So many are feeling bad. So many want to turn their backs on God without knowledge that whatever you do in the house of God, there is a reward for it. Yeah. It may tarry, but it will come to pass, is your advice. Being that you have tested it, yeah, yeah. what is your advice to them? My advice to viewers all over the world and all workers in church, this is my advice to you. You should know the God that you serve. You should know where you are walking. And the Bible says, believe. You must believe the God of that your father you're working for. And whatever thing you do, not just putting in your best, but what? Your belief that one day my story is going to change. God is never a man and he's never to be mocked. The Bible says there is a time, and in everything there is a season. There is a time for a man to suffer, and there is a time for man to be great in life. So your time for you to be blessed, maybe the time for you to be blessed is near, but because of the discouragement you are having, because of the challenges you are facing right now, you, you will not give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Wherever you are, don't give up. Continue. Believe. Believe in the God you are serving. And the God of my Father is going to surprise you one day. Put in your best. Believe, have faith, and walk with all your heart. Follow the God of my Father, Prophet Jeremiah. He will never ever put you to shame because your testimony is coming to you. So, Mrs. Evi Samson, what is your advice to viewers watching? My advice to the viewers all over the world that are watching, in whatever thing you are doing, in the house of God, put your very best and believe that one day, whatever thing you're doing, that blessings will surely come. The way God visited me and my husband, we did not expect, but God of Jeremiah changed our story for good. That God that has changed our story will definitely change your whole story. Only when you believe and put your trust and hope and depend in Him, that is when God will bless you. And as you're doing that, the God of Jeremiah will definitely bless you 
Amen. So lastly, tell us what is your word of appreciation to the man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufufei, partners and members of Christ's Mercy and Deliverance Ministry, for they all have been a part of the blessing which has come upon your life now. So what is your word of appreciation to all of them? Yeah. This is to my father, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufufei. God bless you. All I have to say is thank you. Because even my thanking you will not be enough for all you've done in my life. You, you've done those things that even my father, my mother, even my family member, nobody can do all these things you've been doing for me. I, I thank you specially. I thank you, my father. Thank you for all you've done in my life. For all this, I'll continue to follow you. I'll continue to serve your God. And I'll continue to, to, to be under your grace, to, to worship with you, to serve your God. Because your God is a God of miracle. Mm. Because your God is a God of healing. Mm. Because your God is a God of breakthrough. Mm. Because your God is a God that never fails. Not even in a second. So, I, I, I thank you, Father. Me and my wife here, we thank you for what you've done in our life. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, join me. Join me now to celebrate the God of my Father. To celebrate my Father. Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufui. The Owomo Owomo Wa. The Tiger General. Somebody shout! Owomo Owomo Wa. The prophetic substitute, oh, yeah. the paranormal seer, oh, yeah. Holy Ghost divine seer, oh, yeah. the sharpest prophet, oh, yes. living proof of God's word, oh, yeah. embodiment of grace, oh, yeah. the sharpest prophet. Oh, yes. Do something, my father. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, sir. God bless you. God bless, God bless you. you. Thank you so, so much for sharing your wonderful testimony and experience with us. It is indeed wonderful. Yeah. Now, this is proof to say that there is God. Indeed, there is God. So, viewers, thank you so much for joining us today on this wonderful episode. As we have been speaking with Mr. and Mrs. A.B. Samson, they have told us their story, and they are so happy for what God of Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufe has done in their lives. Now, viewers, remember that love delivers, just as the God of Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufe has shown them love and delivered them from that problem of shame. Those silent tears they have been crying, the God of Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufe has delivered them, and he can do it for you too. So what are you waiting for? Thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful program. My name is Sophia Lloyd. And until we meet next time, remember, money is a defense. Yes, money is a defense. God bless you.